the opening scene starts with their um, daily meeting with Vivica, Darren, Eureka, and uh, Kiana. Everybody was in attendance. Now, for, before I say anything, um, Eureka. Now, Eureka by far is one of my favorite people on the show. But that red hair she was wearing, oh, working it, okay? She was really, really working it. You looked good, girl. Loved it. But anyway, so they had their um, daily meeting where Vivica was really, really excited. She said she could feel um, Vegas getting closer and closer. And um, her Vegas connection, Marklin Kennedy, had set up a meeting with her with the Plaza Hotel. And she was very excited about that. She went over the theme that she wanted this week, which was to be football and boxing. And everyone was just in high spirits and ready to move on and pleased with their past performances and felt that they were getting better and better. She also took the advice that she got from the choreographer from the Lexor. She took some of it and then she added her own to it, which is what you're supposed to do. You can't just take everything, everything everybody says verbatim because you got to put your own into it too. So... That's pretty good. So, opening scene, really, really good. Now, so moving Vivica on. So, Vivica wants all the dancers to meet with another choreographer. Her name was Betty Rocks. She's supposed to be really good in dance hall music. And she wanted to show them a different form of dance. Now, Darren isn't out the picture here. She just wanted to, as a refresher, add to what he has going on. And now, strangely enough... Ever since he dropped the whole Darren Google me attitude, I'm really liking him. When he's showing that he wants to be there and he's working as hard as everybody else, he's not a bad guy. So I can kind of see why Vivica hired him. But when he first came onto the scene, he was giving me the wrong impression of him. And I could not stand him. But now I'm, I'm pretty much liking him. I save my whole I can't stand him attitude for Alvester. Now, during the meeting with the new choreographer, uh, Betty Rocks, that's her name, um, Alvester, well, first of all, in his interview, he said another dance rehearsal. I don't even know why we're doing all this. I'm into my music. So I guess he's a, a musician. Now, I ain't never heard of him, okay? I ain't never heard of him, but I guess he's, he's into music. And... He said in his interview, he was going to put more of his energy into his music. Okay, fine. So during the rehearsal, he decides he has to go. But he doesn't tell anybody anything. He doesn't leave in the proper way. He just walks out the room. Just typical Elvester style. Like, he doesn't owe anybody anything. Yo, I'm out. So he's gone. And to my surprise, penetration follows but penetration does give an excuse a whack excuse but he still gave it to him i don't know he had to go pick up his kid and needed a ride or something like that but nevertheless you're still leaving but at least you gave an explanation alvester's getting ruder and more arrogant by the second i'm really not understanding him been not liking him i don't i don't get it i don't know if it's because Vivica gave him a second chance before, instead of taking that and being appreciative, some people might be like, they got it like that. Like, I'm the best one here. She ain't gonna fire me. Maybe that's what's wrong with him. But he's getting worse and worse by the second. So he makes his, he makes his exit out of uh, the rehearsal with the uh, dance hall choreographer. And she was like, okay, because it was just straight up rude it's gonna get worse so let's move on to the next up scene. next we have kiana and bolo now i told you i told you check the tape i said a couple episodes ago that kiana was feeling bolo i i could just see it all over her face these two are falling for each other and going quickly and hard now don't let kiana fool you when she's like mm, i mean he all right, or I'll think of a, mm, mm She's falling hard for him, and she's falling as if she's jumping in the pool head first 
without no water. She ain't gonna be able to stop herself. She's trying to play it off like, I'll see how this can go. It didn't already went, okay? I'm just saying. But now, so you're not fooling me. You are not fooling me. You are falling for him hard. I get it. He's cute. Very, very cute. I get it. Vivica warned you. She didn't warn you. But you can't help yourself. You cannot help yourself. But this is where you will go wrong. You, when you met Bolo, he's a dancer. Okay? He is a, I don't know what they call him, strip dancer, stripper. I don't know. But he danced for women. And the better his performance is, the worse he gets. He's one of the best dancers. Okay? Not one of. He is the best dancer. I don't need you, Kiana. A couple more episodes, like, getting jealous, getting mad, like, you was dancing on her a little too long. Mm -mm. No. This is how you met him. Because women, they get protective, okay? Especially, I mean, child. I don't know how I would handle I don't know how I would handle that, but this is what you're choosing, okay? You are openly choosing this. And not only are you choosing a dancer, you're choosing the best dancer. Now, he done went all, already in between Lunel's legs. Now, remember that? I don't, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard to watch because I feel bad for you, but you have to realize right now you are making a conscious decision, and then you are also making a conscious decision to not listen to what Vivica have to say. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, Kiana, but you know you're from the same city as me. We both from the D. I mean, I hope you can pull this off. I don't this don't this don't sound good in the beginning, but you know maybe you got some magic tricks. I don't know. Mm, child. Next we people. have Elvester and Andrew. Yes, Andrew, a.k.a. Penetration. Now, I had to call him by his real name. Because you know how when you get in trouble, your mama call you by your real name? We got Alvester and Andrew. Because Andrew has managed to let Alvester convince him to dance at his music video now, didn't nobody know he even had a music career? I mean, I ain't never heard of him. I like lots of music. I ain't never heard of no damn Elvester. She, he has pulled Andrew over to the dark side. Andrew, that ain't even in your personality. I don't even know why you keep listening to him. And now you have missed another rehearsal. And word has got back to Vivica that you have been pulled to the dark side, Andrew. How you go from penetration to Andrew? Andrew, you've been pulled to the dark side, the dark sides of Alvester. I don't know what you was thinking. I don't know how much money he offered you. But that was a bad move. So they don't show up to practice. Nobody knows where they are. Chow. Uh-uh. And you know the first thing uh, Eureka did, it's her job to inform Vivica Guess away here, because I'd have done the same thing. Like, I wouldn't have waited till the next day either. She went out uh, in the, left the room during the middle of rehearsal. I was like, Vivica, girl, you won't believe who ain't there. So, Vivica wasn't shocked about Alvester, but she was shocked about Andrew. I mean, Andrew, what? Child. Out of everybody, there's so many dancers there you can follow. You gonna pick the cockiest one. I don't know what you was thinking. Anyway, so moving on. Eureka had no choice but to inform Vivica that Alvester and Andrew, I'm not calling him penetration till we get back on the right track, okay? Because I'm just disappointed. She informed him that Andrew and Alvester did not come to pre um, rehearsal. Well, Vivica was mad. She went off. I can't believe it. But I ain't thinking that. I was like, mm-hmm. Here we go again. Because up until now, Alvester has been getting away with murder. Okay? Like, I, I, I don't even get upset no more. I'm like, he'll be back tomorrow. So I was just like, okay, she was going off. I'm hurt. I'm disrespected. You know all the stuff she usually says. I was hurt. I was hurt about Andrew. Because, Andrew, what are you thinking? So, um, Vivica calls Andrew on the phone and like, what's up? Why aren't you at practice? What's going on? And then she did the expected. She gave 
penetration another chance. So, which if you're going to give Elvestris a fifth and sixth chance, then you damn well better give penetration a second chance because besides Bolo, he is the second best dancer on the show. So, right now we've got her giving penetration a second chance and she's saying that Elvester is out. Which leads me to my next so, scene. Elvester is out and in comes Slam. Now, I, ooh, child. Listen, Elvester has been my favorite dancer until Slam enters the room. Oh my God, from day one I was like, I was like, Vizica! Why isn't he a main dancer? He's cute, okay? He's cute. He can dance. Ooh, child. I mean, I would have took him over Elvester any day in the beginning. I don't know what Vivica was thinking, but thank you, Jesus. In walks the specimen known as Slam. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed with Spam. Now, Little slam, and this is coming at a good time because the whole bolo thing. I don't want me talk about how cute Kiana's man is every week, but I would have had to if Slam wasn't in the picture. But Slam is in the picture. I'm so thankful. So Vivica finally decides to get rid of Alvester's ass, and she brings in on a permanent basis Slam. Oh, child. Now let's talk about. The brilliant way she got rid of Elvester. Well, Vivica was like, mm, you know, I'm tired of Elvester. He got to go. And I was like, mm-hmm. But when she said, no, it's official. He's out. And I don't even want to see him. I'm going to let Eureka fire him. I was like, what? That made me think she was serious. You let Eureka do it. Because Eureka, she don't play. She takes care of business, okay? No, it's just standard behavior. If you get fired somewhere, you know, I've been fired a time or two. You know, there ain't good times I like to talk about, but everybody get fired a time or two. You know, that was a long time ago, long time ago. But we, if you get fired or somebody no longer see, uh, you need your services, you always say, well, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Right? I thought that was a standard. Not Elvester ass, okay? He like, he came in with an attitude. He had no idea that he was fired yet. And, you know, uh, Eureka set his ass up good. She was like, so, you know, you've been busy. Like, mm-hmm. She was like, well, don't you think you should have told Vivica? He said, I ain't got time to be chasing down Vivica Fox. <laughs> I'm not making this up. This is exact, he, exactly what he said. He ain't got time to be chasing down the Hollywood A-lister known as Vivica Fox. I, uh, Something wrong with the boy. But anyway, she put up with his nonsense, but she saved the best for last. She was like, well, you know, Vivica has decided to terminate your contract. <laughs> now, it's not really funny when somebody gets fired. So I don't know what's wrong with me. I know something wrong with so me. So, so I ain't right. I ain't right. But he was really shocked. And <laughs> what the, I don't. It's not funny when somebody gets fired. What's funny is that he thought he didn't deserve to get fired instead of being like, no way, I need, let's work this out. He was like, yo loss. <laughs> and then he got outside with the big tear eyes and he was like, I might have ruled a good thing. Yeah, you think? But it don't matter because I really don't want you back. One, because you worked my last nerve, but two, I have a new obsession, and his name is Slam. So, bye. So, let's talk about my favorite part of the show, the performance. Yeah. And all know, my favorite part of the show is the performances. I can't help it. I watch the show for one reason and one reason only, and it is the performances. Pre-formances. I don't even say it right. It's the pre-formances. It's the performances, which is my favorite part. Well, it was another good week. Now... Bolo did his thing again. I'm sorry, Kiana. He really did. He's acrobatic. He just, he's strong. He's a good looker. But what I one thing I thought was unfair about the show is they paired this week Bolo up with White Chocolate. Now, 
white chocolate. I, I have not hidden my opinions. You are not the best dancer. So I thought it was unfair that they paired you up with Bolo. But the good news is you're getting a little better. White chocolate? I mean, hey, you starting to come. I told you just hang in there and get better. And so it is. But I didn't think it was fair they uh, teamed you up with Bolo. Okay? Now have my eye on Slam the whole time. <sighs> he can he can dance, okay? It's my favorite. I don't want to seem like an old perv. But I'm loving me some Slam. So anyway, his performances are going to be better and better because he came in mid-performance. Okay? So I'm going to be watching out for that next week because I will be there because I got to check out my boy, my new obsession, Slam. Ooh, child. I sound like Lunell. Listen, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. See you next week because I'm going to be there. Until then, talk to you later. Bye.